Hey, hello everybody. It's a great day here in the Ozarks on Table Rock Lake. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are. This is Laura with Jot and Tittle Typewriters and I have got a 1967 Smith Corona Super Sterling for you today. Let's take a look at it. This is the original tan color. It's a manual and it's a fine looking machine. So um, let's try this. Usually the Super Sterlings are fantastic typing machines, um, especially for manuals. So let's see how this one does for us today. Let's start in here. This is your margins and you press and drag your margins to set them. Now keep in mind that however you have your margin set, this is a manual typewriter um, and even electric ones, they don't automatically go to the next line like we're used to on, typewriter, on computers. So when you get to the end of your margin, you're gonna hear that bell which says you're at the end of your line. Here's your margin and it's gonna stop on you. Just completely stop. You're not gonna be able to type or do anything. So what you need to do is hit this MR button right here. And now you can keep going. So that's what you need to keep in mind if you've never used a typewriter before. Also, when you move your carriage, you uh, pull the lever in, it doesn't matter which side on either side, pull it in while holding the carriage and it's only gonna move as far as you have the margins set. So however you set the margins is where the carriage will move. You can hear the bell, it's nice and strong. On the left side, when you do get to the end of your margin, you need to go to the next line, you hit your return handle and it's gonna advance either one, two or three lines. This is your line selector. So you put it however you want it to work. Okay, I'm gonna move this over to the left and we're gonna pop this baby open. And just so you know, cause it's not gonna show up in the photos, there is a little scratch here. So keep in mind when you buy vintage typewriters, you are not buying a new machine. Um, and there's many of us who uh, service and repair typewriters, but we do not refurbish or restore. And there is a big difference. And so I encourage you to visit my website at jotandtittletypewriters.com and read our blog posts so that you understand the difference between those. Um, because some people think they're getting like a brand new machine. You're not. These things are old. This one is 53 years old. Now I'm 50. I don't think that's old, but for a machine, that's pretty old. So keep that in mind, but it is working but it does, um, some of them are gonna have imperfections on them. And so in this case, like I said, it's so minor, it's not even gonna show up in the photos and you probably can't even see it in the video, but there's a little scratch here. All right, that was a big rabbit trail. All right, so inside I've put in universal ribbons. So the universal ribbon can be, if you don't have the original ribbon spools, universal ribbons are gonna work for most of your typewriters. So they just pop right in, make sure it's threaded properly. If you're putting in a new one, uh, make sure you refer to photos. I took a photo of this. And if you visit the product listing link in the description below, you can find that photo and use it as a reference. Black on top, red on bottom. Now remember when it comes to ribbons, then uh, when you get to the end of the spool, it's not the end of your ribbon. There is a ton of ink in those ribbons. So what you need to do is you need to reverse the direction of your ribbon and you do that right here. Okay, it's such a slight movement and you should be able to reverse the direction of your ribbon dozens and dozens of times. And um, so I have had people say, hey, some of those typewriters should auto reverse. And I've also learned, and I need to do some more research to confirm this, so maybe some of you um, who've been around a lot longer with typewriters, um, I believe they won't auto-reverse on a universal ribbon. They have to have uh, a special spool, like the original spool that it came with. I'm not sure that's what I heard. All I know is we have yet to have a typewriter that auto-reverses, okay? And even though people have said that should auto-reverse, so I suspect that it's because we use universal ribbons. Okay, so remember, if your typewriter stops, gets stuck, or if 
like there's no when you're typing, but you can barely read the type, uh, stop and reverse the direction of your ribbon. There's nothing wrong with your typewriter. You just need to reverse the direction. Okay, on the right side is your color selector, black on top, red on bottom. The little do, uh, you know clear in the middle is nothing. Your typewriter will do nothing. So again, if you're having trouble with your typewriter before you panic, check a couple of things. Make sure your color selector is fully engaged on either color and check your ribbons. Okay, on the keyboard, you're gonna see your tab button and you're gonna clear and set your tabs right over here. Margin release, we already talked about that. This arrow is a backspace, okay? Comes in handy, backspace does not erase. So keep that in mind. Um, we're so used to, on our computers, when we backspace or it's deleting and that doesn't happen on typewriters. Okay, let's do some typing. Okay, so you just put your paper right here Turn the handle, lift your bar, make sure the paper goes underneath your bar. And then I pull it all the way up to make sure, I'm gonna pull this forward for you guys, that it's straight and it's a little crooked. So this is your paper release and you pull that forward. Straighten that, put it back, and then let's go ahead and start typing. So this is a 1957 Smith Corona. Super sterling. Very nice. This is a great manual typewriter. And it's good. This is going to be a good um, active writer's typewriter. Uh, for those of you that want a manual and maybe something that's um, not as pricey as some of the old, older manuals. Uh, one thing that I didn't mention before that I'll mention now is um, you have your, when you turn your handle, you hear the clicks and that's every half a line. And let's say you need to do, line it up just a little bit better. If you're doing subscript, superscript, you press this black button and you turn the handle at the same time and that releases the roller. So let's say you're working on um, lined paper or forms or like I said, super subscript, then it works for that. Okay, let's keep going. This works really nice. All right, let's do some sentences. Okay, I'm gonna let it hit the margin. All right, so right there, it's stuck. So remember when you it stops on you, just hit margin release. You can finish your word and your sentence and then move on. All right, trying the red here. Hold on, backspace. Fantastic. Sorry, the typewriter moves all over the place. So wonderful typewriter. Again, hey, this would be great for beginners, but it's such a great typing machine and it flows really well. That for those of you who um, have big writing projects, and you just want a manual typewriter that's basic, it's not super expensive, then this is gonna be, <clears throat> excuse me, a great one for you. <coughs> Sorry, I just had, okay, usually I eat pretty healthy, but I just had some squeezed cheese and triscuits, or wheat thins, mm, and I got a wheat thin stuck in my throat. All right, <laughs> like you needed to know that, that was too much information. 
Anyway, I appreciate all of you. I have some great fans on here. You guys are wonderful. I love talking to you. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Make sure you visit the product listing that's in the description below and you all have a blessed day.